Here at Relish, we help couples and individuals to have happier, healthier, and more connected relationships. So my name is Trisha Bowman, and I'm a certified life and relationship coach here at Relish. So I wanna ask you a question. Are you confused about the status of your relationship? Maybe the relationship is new, or you've been sleeping together for a while, but you haven't really defined the relationship? Do you find yourself maybe in a state of limbo and maybe you're a bit, a confu bit confused about where you stand? You might find, be finding yourself in what we call a situationship. A situationship is an undefined romantic relationship, but the terms of the relationship and the end goals of the re relationship are not really defined. So today I'm going to discuss 10 of the 10 tell signs that would make find you in a situationship. And I'm also wanna let you know what you can do about them. So if any of you are finding yourself in that state of limbo or you've been there before, we'd love to hear from you. So go ahead and make those comments right below. And if you have any questions about this or any other relationship issue, problem, topic, we'd love to hear about that also. And if you'd like more relationship tips, advice, tricks, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you participate with us. Also, if you know someone who could use this advice right now, don't hesitate to share the video with them. Thank you, we appreciate that. All right, here we go. 10 telltale signs that you are in a situationship. Number one, you haven't defined the relationship or you haven't had the DTR. So in times where there may be a lot of hookups and casual sex without a clear, you know, classic courtship parameter, it may be hard to determine where things stand and knowing when you're going to have the talk or when are we going to have the talk can be tricky timing too. And you don't want to appear too eager if it's too soon or if you do it too late, you maybe find yourself on totally different pages. So if you've been seeing the person for a while and you haven't had the talk, you are probably in a situationship. So if you think now might be a good time to have the DTR talk, I highly encourage you to take that step. And if you need a little extra help on how to navigate this tough conversation, please download the Relish app you, there's a seven day free trial and one of our coaches would be glad to help assist you in ways to have that tough conversation and work through your feelings about that. Tip number two, that there's no consistency. If you've been seeing someone for a significant amount of time, but you never know when you'll hear from them or see them again, do they seem like that they run hot and cold and you're never quite sure how they feel or where you stand, you're probably in a situationship. So defining the relationship from the early stages can help you both manage your expectations about the relationship, your needs, your wants, and understand how to act. If you do this and it still lacks, leads to a lack of consistency, then you've got yourself in a situationship. Okay. Number three telltale sign, that there's no talk about the future. Now I'm not talking necessarily like marriage and kids, but I'm referring to no future plans of like hanging out together, meeting friends, family, planning a trip, a day to concert, an event. It's a total absence of talk about the future. And that's a sign that your partner does not see a long-term future together. And when you try to bring up the future with your current partner, that they may dodge and weave the question or give vague responses. This is another sign that you are probably more in a situationship. All right, telltale sign number four. They say they aren't serious. If your partner says they aren't serious and they are, they aren't looking for anything serious, then you should probably take them at their word. Even if you do like coupley things together and you know, it seems like maybe there's hope and I know it can be confusing, but please listen to what they are saying. If they say they don't want something serious, then they do not want something serious. 
listening to people when they say this and recognizing that you are in a situationship and not a relationship will save you so much heartache down the line. All right, telltale sign number five, five. You don't meet their friends or you've been seeing someone for some time and yet have yet to meet someone that's important to them, then this is probably a sign that you are not in a relationship. If things are getting serious and your partner is ready to start making you a priority in their life, they will start to introduce you to people that are important to them and people who are close to them. Telltale sign number six, there's a surface level connection. And you find that you're mostly just a hookup or a booty call for someone and they avoid any deep conversation, then you're probably in a situationship and not a relationship. So it's normal the beginning stages of a relationship for things to be a bit more surface level. But if you've been seeing someone for any significant amount of time and you still don't seem to be diving deeper, you probably found yourself in a situationship. Telltale sign number seven. The relationship or the situationship seems to be based on convenience. So in relationships, people often plan when to spend time together. In a situationship, on the other hand, the invitations tend to be last minute and kind of random. In relationships, partners often go out of their way to make time for one another. In a situationship, people normally make spur of the moment plans based on their free time and if you just happen to be available. Okay. That leads me to number eight, lack of a date night. And a good rule of thumb for this one is to ask yourself whether you ever hang out with that person you are seeing outside of the bedroom, or during the day, or maybe in the presence of other people. Lack of one-on-one -on -one time with someone outside of the bedroom can indicate that you are also in a situationship. And then if you don't have that deep emotional connection with that partner and they don't want to have anything more than a surface level connection, then you're probably in a situationship. Okay, number nine, you are anxious to hear back from them. Healthy relationships are not based on anxiety. When you're in a healthy relationship with another person, you should feel secure about your connection. And sure, in the beginning stages of a relationship, there's, it's normal to be anxious about where you are, is it gonna work out, and you get tingles and butterflies and all that stuff. But I'm talking about anxiety about the future, about what's going forward, about where you're at, and whether they'll respond to you or, or accept you. Again, if you are feeling these feelings, if you're anxious about your relationship, please reach out to one of the coaches at Relish. Number 10, they're seeing other people. Now, I'm not talking about something you negotiated up front or if you're in an open relationship. I'm talking about other situations where it may not be what you want, but you're hoping for more. I'm referring to those who are seeing someone, who are seeing other people, and that's not the relationship you had hoped for or agreed upon and you're wanting more in the future. That's a telltale sign that you are in a situationship. Even if your current partner is not interested in a serious relationship, there are plenty of other people out there who are. So please don't waste your time on a partner that causes you anxiety and doesn't prioritize you. There are plenty of people who are looking for a deeper, more meaningful connection and a relationship and will be happy to commit the time and effort it takes to be in a healthy, defined relationship with you. Thanks for watching. If you'd like your relationship to become stronger, healthier, and happier, or if you'd like help to attract a healthier, happier relationship in your life defined by what you want, we'd love for you to download Relish and try it for free. So just click on the link below to begin. We'd also love it 
if you would subscribe, like this video, share, comment below. I know you're going to love Relish and all the content, lessons, quizzes, and the coaches we have here for you. And again, if you have any questions about today's content or any other relationship advice, please feel free to comment below and myself along with the Relish team will respond to you. Have a great day.